Well, hi there. I didn't think I would be doing this so early, but yeah, this is a disclaimer. As you can tell from the title of this game, this game deals with suicide, obviously. But uh, this is not your normal run-of-the-mill little trigger warning. This is not the small trigger warning like Oxenfree, which was more of an epilepsy warning than anything. This is a much bigger trigger warning. This is kind of an ugly one. This game deals with suicide and TLDR, no context, in a nutshell version basically glorifies pedophilia. As this game went on further and further, I began to see more and more how the game was romanticizing suicide and glorifying a literal pedophile in the game. And it began to bother me more and more, and by the end, I was absolutely furious. However, I don't say that to scare you all away from this game. I definitely disagreed with all of the main messages of this game, and I break them down pretty harshly at the end. <laughs> I do think that it is an interesting game to watch because it's just interesting to see the points of view and I decided that I'm gonna post it anyways because I think it is valuable to have that conflicting opinion that I put at the end online in response to this game. I don't want to say that this is a bad game because I don't like saying that games are bad. That demeans a lot of hard work that a lot of good people put in to make this game. I also don't want to say that you shouldn't watch it because i'm not going to judge who should or should not watch anything i just want you to know that this deals with triggering themes like pedophilia and suicide and i say that because i want to make you aware not because i want to scare you away always the mental health of my viewers will matter to me way more than your view count will so i want to make that very clear as the game progresses further and further i probably kind of just get quieter as i'm kind of processing and getting angrier at what it's saying i decided to let it go all the way through because i don't like to judge games early that's what i did i decided not to judge the game until the end and sadly it didn't make a 180 and change my mind i do think it is worth seeing and i know that the first two hours of the game was actually really fun and i had a blast playing it so i really do hope you guys enjoy it that's enough for this. See you in the video. Bye. Or, hi. Hi. Hello everybody, and welcome back to another video. I'm Frostclop, you can call me Frosty, Stormy, or Seth, and today we're going to be starting another short narrative experience. This one is called, The Suicide of Rachel Foster. Because I don't play happy games on this channel. We only play scary games and sad games. Guys, I might have a problem. Anyways, The Suicide of Rachel Foster is a game. It's a narrative-driven experience. It's like three hours long. I'm guessing three hours because How Long to Beat says that every game that I've played has taken almost exactly one hour longer than it's taken me. So I'm guessing I'll do one hour shorter than what it says for Suicide of Rachel Foster, which is four hours. So for me, it'll probably be three, which was a completely unnecessary explanation. It'll end up being however much it ends up being. I'll try to cut them down into like 20 minute episodes because I I tried doing like the half hour episode to start Vanish Game of Ethan Carter and I just lapsed back into doing full hour long videos. So that was dumb. I'll try to keep these down to 20 minutes. It's really not that hard. All I have to do is cut the video at 20 minutes and post it. But I keep doing it anyways. I can't help it. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyways. Uh, let's get into the game. I can say star sorry, starry, yes. I can say sorry once I mess everything up instead of right now. Because I'm sure that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, that's a strong start. Guitar riff right off the bat. Alright, here we go then. I have absolutely no idea what I'm getting into. I did not test launch this at all. So, hopefully nothing breaks. My dear Nicole. Yes, I don't exactly need subtitles for that. The subtitles are, you know, right there. Okay. <clears throat> you are the daughter every... Wait. My, my brain. The subtitles in this don't match. You are the daughter every mother dreams of. Beautiful, smart, and fair. We've been through a lot, and I know things haven't always been easy, but remember what Dr. Franklin said after your speech at the high school graduation. And then the subtitles say something completely different. Faced with the dragon, one must brandish sword and shield. Sometimes one has to know when to kneel before the dragon. I've always thought you as a view as a fighter who, faced with the toughest challenges, is capable of brandishing all the weapons necessary to fight courageously and heroically. We've 
we never talked about what happened with Leonard scratched out your father but now I need to tell you a few things before this illness separates us and no subtitles this time the tone of this letter is all over the place but okay whoa what's happening am I controlling oh I'm, I'm walking very slowly this looks really good, but oh my god, it's dark. Can you guys even... Whoa! Oh yeah, that was cool. I'll give him that. Yeah, I'm gonna just shove right by these guys. That's obviously a funeral. Um, the affair your father had with that young woman nine years ago and her ensuing suicide broke our family apart forever. I imagine exactly what was going through your head at that moment. My father no longer exists for me, I can only trust my mother. Are these my thoughts as I'm reading the letter? That your father had irreparably betrayed our trust and that she had done the right thing by throwing herself off that cliff. I was there, I've always been there. When you dislocated your shoulder at the first game, when you sobbed at night in a room you didn't recognize, and when dot 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 and subtitle says when you kissed Duncan Forbes into the Christmas mistletoe in 1985 you marched against abortion in your first year of college I did I'd rather not <laughs> that seems like a very stupid thing to do but okay Duncan was a good kid but even if I've never said so before I immediately thought you wouldn't have a lot to talk about talking is the foundation for every relationship true if you didn't talk, you drift apart. There is so much to say when you don't have a lot of time to say it. First of all, I'm sorry. And the subtitle just says, first of all, I'm sorry. This is hurting my head. Can you please match up? I'm not sure what it's trying to say here. What the heck? Where did the marching against abortion thing come from? That's not something I would do. <laughs> How was... The tone of this letter and the ensuing subtitles is so jarring. It doesn't make any sense to me at all. But okay, I'm trying to, this is obviously a serious beginning, and I almost want to take it seriously, but it's kind of not making sense. I never thought rage was an emotion worthy of a good Christian, okay, but I used it. I used it to endure pain. I don't want you to live your life like I have, my love. I want you to be free from the past once and for all. This is why I want you to do exactly as I say, sell our hotel. You run a hotel? Okay, why sell it? The hotel is my family's and you're entitled to it. Go back there, Nicole. I've hired a lawyer in Helena. Helena? I don't know how to pronounce that. I should, but I'm dumb. Mr. Jenkins, what a lawyer name. To give you this letter once your father has passed away. I will already be gone, be gone long. Long gone? Take a quick inspection, sign the papers, and sell those walls that hold nothing but rage. Keep what you need to pay off for your, your, your university loans, and give the rest to the girl's family. Let's end this story once and for all. Wait, give the rest to... So, is Rachel Foster the young woman who our father Leonard, Nicole's father Leonard, was having an affair with? And she committed suicide when they got caught, and I'm supposed to sell all my belongings and give her the money to make up for my mom's rage at her after... Wait! <laughs> Please tell me I'm wrong, because that is not the right thing to do. I'm sorry that she did that, and it's definitely not the right thing to do, and I would not celebrate it, but I also would not give away all of my worldly belongings to her family as a sorry for my mom's anger that they, that she had an affair with her husband. I'm just, I need some context. This is all over the place and I'm just mind blown right now. We've always been there for each other. I wish I could still be there at your graduation, your wedding, my grandchildren's birth, but that's it. We don't know how much time we have. I think those are supposed to be teardrops on the paper, but... Use yours to love. There's nothing else worth living for, fighting for, or dying for. Believe me, I love you above all else. Your mother. June 24th, 1991. So this is our mom's funeral. 
I guess. It's really dark. I don't know if it's that dark for you guys, but it's really dark for me. Like, I can't see anything. Well, I can see that. I can see the casket very well. Okay. This was not the opening I was expecting. I guess it's fairly obvious that I did not know what I was getting into and did not do any sort of test run to make sure it was working. Helena National Forest, Montana, U.S. Is that 1993? It said. Montana is amassing all the characteristics of an atypical storm. The bad turn is proving worse than expected, with above-average winds and snowfall, especially forecast for Helena National Forest Natural Reserve. The National Weather Service warns residents to follow all instructions given by local authorities and to avoid all unnecessary travel. Some concerned meteorologists are comparing it to the storm that hit Billings in 1955, with 42 inches of snow falling over a single night. Are we heading into the mother of all winners in Lewis and Clout County? Most of that dialogue sounded pretty decent for, like, a weather woman. But, uh... Like, especially the Lewis and Clark County part, that sounded legit. But some concerned meteorologists did not sound good. Just make up a do just make up some Dr. Somebody Somebody of meteorology. Just give a name. Some concerned meteorologist sounds weird and doesn't sound real. So, I don't know why I'm trying to school the game writers. Uh, it's not like they're watching. I mean, I've written a lot. Um... I haven't published anything yet. I ought to have years ago. I've got so much work done. I've, got, I've written like 2,000 pages of unique fantasy fiction. And a couple hundred pages of sci-fi fiction. Never published a damn thing. The smell. That's all I remember from the night we departed 10 years ago. The, yeah, I, I don't know why I'm trying to school the game writers. It's not like they see this. button I cannot click I can only hover and it will tell me it's a button I like how if I get close to this door I get <laughs> I lose focus on everything inside the door moving door can cause serious injury or death that's a very flimsy door the way that it's it's like a single panel of aluminum or something Just shaking in the wind Leonard's motorbike. This is still here? God damn. Observe. I am observing the toolbox. Ooh. Use. Alright, I used the door. The attorney said to check the office first. It should be just beyond the mountain museum at the end of the stairs to the main floor, if I remember right. Who's calling? This place looks like it's been out of service for years. Probably has been. That's cool. Boot. Yeah, just put it back on the floor. Krampus. Oh, can't open that. Can't open that. You gotta go all the way around here. What's this? Indigenous snowshoes. Cool. Where? Oh, why is it middle mouse button? That's disgusting. Thank you for calling. Please leave a message. Hi, I'm here. Just pick up the damn phone. Nine one one emergency. How can I help you? What's your emergency? Hello? Can you hear me? What's your emergency? Mr. McGrath, hi, it's Paulie from Century Telephone Company. I'm sorry to bother you, but as I told you last time, the company requires cutting off the telephone service to delinquent customers. I... I'm really sorry, Leonard, but my hands are tied. Hey. We have to go ahead. I'm sorry. 
That sounds extremely illegal, but okay. Lucky stars, uh, yeah, genuine taste cigarettes. It's Jenkins, the attorney. The hotel oh chain hi, yeah, what's up? To take over your hotel has just dumped a mammoth holy bible of documents on my desk that I need to check through. I have to personally go to the county land registry office before we meet. Listen, I know you didn't want to go to your father's funeral, but now the hotel is entirely your property. The law requires you to assess its condition before putting it on the market. Uh, it's, uh, very noble of your mother to want to repay that poor girl's family, Rachel. Not everyone would deprive themselves of such a sum. Anyway, it's up to you now. Get to it, I'll bring you a burger you Portland folks can only dream of. Oh, I, I left you some notes and a master key on the dining room table of your family's old apartment. Start your rounds from there. Give me a couple of hours. Don't run off, all right? I should not have critiqued the writing. This now is all I can think of. I'm sorry, it's not that bad, Portland. but... Oh, I'm not this potato head. Come on, let's do this. It's not that bad. I'm being picky. Because it, it was brought to my attention. But, like... No one says, I have to personally go. They just say, I have to go there. <laughs> Why do I feel like I've been... See, yeah, see, at some angles I can look at this, but some I can't. NASA. That's it. Space. A real. Very cool. Dad's office. Genius at work. How the heck was it opened the wrong way? I don't think that's how doors work. This hinge should not go that way. Ah, uh, it's a game mechanic to avoid the door banging into you. Does the door have physics? It does. Okay. I get that. That makes sense, I guess. I don't have to like it. But it's fine. Mr. Jenkins said he left the management key in the master suite. Uh. Oh boy, there is the master suite. Um. This is bigger than I thought. Cool. Okay. kind of want to explore everything, but I kind of feel like it's not worth it. You got telephone boots right here. What do you, you can't exactly cut those off from quote-unquote delinquent. Uh, what would they be? What is a hotel room booker? Tenant? I don't know. Okay. Uh... Where's the master suite? It's on this floor, right? Where am I? Okay, I just came up the stairs. It's on the right. And then down on the right. And there should be another set of stairs, I think. No? Is it just this right here? No. Frick. Okay, it's probably on the left then. I just got the map backwards. Right? Oh, this isn't the second floor. I have to go up here. This is the second floor. Museum, room, room. No. No. Okay, that is the second floor. You lied to me. Liar. Okay. I can't go this way either. What? Master Sweet. What? It is here. I was right. Why is this door open? Is this the Master Sweet? Is this whole wing the Master Sweet? Huh. Okay. A nice bathtub. <laughs> what about a mean bathtub? What about a... What about a... Why? What makes it a nice bathtub? Ooh, I would not want to comb my hair with that. What if the bathtub is a jerk? 
You get in, you immediately slip and fall, and it laughs at you. Oh, here's the master suite. I just randomly went into one of the rooms and was like, hey, check it out. A nice bathtub. 